Whoops. You could just rely on the phone calls. All right. Let's review the HTC Resound. Yeah. This is a badass phone. I'm just going to come out and say it. It's This is pretty badass. Yeah. Uh, as far as, you know, for my money right now, I'm it's not talking to, about announced phones or anything like that. Like right now, if you want an HTC phone, uh, which a lot of people don't like Samsung phones, HTC, this is probably the best phone that you can get for my really? money. Yes. I'm going to go that far. Okay. It scared me. It's It is scary to me, too. Because, like, when I see something licensed by a company that sells overpriced products, like Beats Beats by Monster Cables, and we all, I mean, if you're a techie guy, you know... Monster Cables the, are a giant crock. You know the fallacy of Monster Cables. Yes. So oh, we got a HTC Resound preview up on here, too. Up on Verizon. Yeah, <laughs> got the mirror effect. <laughs> That's pretty sweet. So how much is this thing on Verizon? It is, um, it's not cheap, well, but it's not expensive. Yeah. It's one ninety nine with a two-year contract. That's pretty good. I think Verizon's been backing off that two ninety nine price point. Yeah. Uh, coming down to one ninety nine, a little bit more, re- uh, you know, reasonable. Here's a tip, though. If you go to Amazon, one forty nine. Ooh. Still not wow. a great deal, though. Yeah, a lot of the Amazon phones are usually like 50 bucks or a dollar. Yeah, or a penny. Yeah. Some of them. Oh, wow. Uh, but again, this is an HTC phone. Uh, I'm a big fan of HTC. The latest Nexus phone, which you could get, has more updated software than this. Of course, mm-hmm. the official build from Google. Uh, you can also get that on Verizon right now. I'm just throwing that out there because most of you tech geeks already know that. So, yes, I know. Uh, but this is HTC, and the Galaxy Nexus is Samsung. So... Mm-hmm. You know, you got to kind of weigh <laughs> which way you want to go. Right. So that. what did you like about this phone? Uh, well, let me, if we got, do we have a camera shot? We can pull pull down right no. here and talk about some of the ports. Okay. This has an MHL port. Plastic bag over there in the corner. Yeah. Kick that so. out of the way. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So we'll just change it to what part of the screen. But this has an MHL port, which functions as both a power port and the HDMI out. Um, but you have to buy a dongle that plugs into this if you want to use it for HDMI out. Dongle. Yeah. Uh, like it reminds me it's of the the G1. Uh, the G1 had one port on the bottom, and it was for headphones and power, uh-huh. which was a total. You had to use the headphones that came with it, or at least the adapter, and yeah, all kinds of stupid stuff. It has a volume rocker right here, and on the top is sleep wake. And a little port for your headphones. Hmm. So your standard kind of stuff. Uh, the volume rocker on this, uh, I like to bring this up every time, does not change when you go into landscape mode. So this way, portrait is just fine. Up is up, down is down. Uh, but when you're in landscape watching a video and you think, I want to turn the volume up, it's probably the right side because, you know, on the screen the volume goes up that way. Nope, this will turn the volume down and the left side turns the volume up. It's crazy. It's crazy. <sighs> has a set of uh, capacitive function buttons along the bottom. Those are cool. They're red. It's that Beats branding, all the red buttons. Uh, they look kind of like the Droid Incredible Choose buttons, uh, but when you turn it in into landscape, it doesn't change. It doesn't change. And I'll even bring up Internet Explorer to try hmm. and address that. You can't Did really see them that well. I don't know. They didn't go away. They're just... Are they always red all the time? Yes. Yeah, they don't They're change. There's no, no specialness to them or if anything. If you turn the screen off, do they go away? Yes. Okay. Yeah. No, they don't. You can still see them. Hmm. Huh. Not as bright though, are they? Or no, they're just yeah, right there. They are. Yeah. It's just the camera angle. It's hard to get a good angle right. in here sometimes. Uh, but the camera is on here. Speaking of camera angle, yeah. Uh, this has a 1080p slash 8 megapixel rear camera oh, back sexy. here with a dual LED flash. And let's it's see. An, it's actually a good camera. Yeah, let me pull up the gallery here so we can see a couple of the pictures that you just took. Yeah. So some pretty exquisite shots. Mm-hmm. On here. Some uh the the clarity, the focus does really well. Mm-hmm. for things that are close up and far away. It doesn't feel 
like the color balance is off too much. No, and it changed quite quite quickly because we have different lighting in the studios intentionally, yeah. like different color balances, and it adjusted when I moved around. It was pretty crazy. There's some studio shots, mm-hmm. <laughs> and one of me looks particularly bad. Yeah, <laughs> clear though, very clear. Yeah. And the other good thing too, uh, he has a uh, 720p slash uh, two megapixel front facing camera. Oh really? So you can do high definition video chatting on this bad boy here. That's nice. Take 720p video, just looking at yourself in high definition. Beautiful. It's good stuff. Uh, and the other good thing about that, uh, having that high definition anyway, is that the screen is a 720p screen. It's an SLCD screen. HD on both ends. Yes, uh, an HD looking at it. This is just, uh, you know, it's not going to show up on the on the show here because we're <laughs> not broadcasting in HD. Yeah. Uh, but just like the all the different elements on here are just really sharp. They sparkle. Uh, really clear. And really responsive. I mean, it doesn't look like the pentile displays where you have the weird jaggedness mm-hmm. and letters and stuff, you know, and straight lines. And for pushing that, that have, many, for pushing that many pixels, that's that's a pretty yeah, big deal. very very responsive. Um, I I like it. Four point three inch screen. Uh, my favorite, you know, the four point five inches or four point six fives are fine. Five point five. Um, but I don't want to get too much bigger than that for a phone. Uh, four point mm-hmm. three inches is feels real nice in your hand. It's easy to handle. So let's get down to the internals then. Mm-hmm. Uh, this thing support, uh, supports a 1.5 gigahertz dual core Qualcomm Adreno processor. Uh, it's not a Tegra processor or whatever, but for dual core, for my money, uh, the anything that isn't Tegra for dual core on a phone is um, my preference. So... But when we get to tablets, it's a little different. And when we get to quad core, that's a little different too. I'm back with you, NVIDIA, on the quad cores. Um, uh, it also has one gigabytes of RAM. Yeah, one gigabyte of RAM. Mm-hmm. Kind of getting ditzy, I guess. Gigabits. 16 gigs of internal storage. Uh, it has a micro SD slot, so you mm-hmm. can expand that out. Uh, and it comes with 4G LTE. Nice. On Verizon. Solid. So pretty good stuff. Uh, the software it's running is Android 2.3.4, which is gingerbread for you kids that are counting at home. Uh, HTC says it's going to be updated to Ice Cream Sandwich in early 2012, uh, which sounds like the first half, uh, probably not the first, I don't know, first quarter maybe. So mm-hmm. it's kind of up in the air. But this phone will get Ice Cream Sandwich. It will be updated. So, uh, again, you could go with the Galaxy Nexus, which has it now, or you just wait a little bit and you'll get Ice Cream Sandwich when HTC is done adding all the crap to it that they want to add. Uh, This comes with Sense 3.5, speaking of the crap they want to add, uh, which does add several great features. If we want to pop back over to the uh, preview on the unlock screen here, uh, you have this button that you drag up to unlock. Uh, Pretty pretty straightforward. Uh, But say you want to go into any one of these other apps, you grab phone and drag it down to the button. Pops. And you are right inside your dialer. Looking at Lane's phone numbers. Yeah. I'm in your phone looking at your phone numbers. Like Camera, Le- messages, like, and mail, too. You're like Leo Laporte over there. That's cool. Pulls right in. <laughs> and then you get the camera. Watch out. <laughs> uh, you didn't get my joke. I don't know. You called me Leo Laporte. I thought I should be offended by it. What was the joke? You don't want to know. Okay. So the camera, too, I guess I should mention this. It comes with some cool built-in effects. Oh. So you can play around with it, you know, without having to download it. Wait, does that app. convert the, the keyboard into Braille? No. No. That would be that's funny. That's crazy. Vintage, you know, some of those that's Instagram cool. effects. Yeah. A little fun, little Photoshop-y stuff. Right. You know, but automatic. Yeah. I like so, it. That's cool. So, uh, again, that's, a sense is probably going to be updated when they do the update for, uh, Ice cream sandwich. So, what's the verdict here? Uh, I've got five points that I wanted to cover. Five. This MHL port can uh, consolidates the HDMI and the power port, uh, which sounds great, but I don't like the feature. Um, mm-hmm. You have to buy an adapter to output to your television. Your phone just doesn't do it automatically when you buy it. Unless you have a TV that supports that kind of port. Because An MHL? With, I believe so. I believe some of the newer TVs actually provide power over that port. Uh, the HDMI 
kind of port. Well, for me, I don't know. It, I don't like it. Well, you need to buy a new TV. Maybe too. in the future, yeah, when I have a, a newer TV. I just got it last year, but oh, that's old. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure it is. Uh, it's a nice thin LED TV, though. It's good enough for me. Yeah. Uh, my evil outputs outputs to TVs once rooted, and uh, a lot of these uh, Tegra powered phones. Uh, mm-hmm. automatically you know work doing the screen mirroring uh, just using a standard micro hdmi cable uh and i have the option to charge the phone while using it yeah. i don't have to an mhl port requires that you charge the phone while using the hdmi out feature so not only do you have to be x you know a certain amount of feet close to your tv and plug it in mm-hmm. you have to be a certain amount of feet close to an open plug once you do that to Wait, even so you, use the you port. have to have both of them yes for the mhl to work yeah Again, like I said earlier, this reminds me of the G1, which had the headphone and power ports consolidated in, into one, <laughs> and I had to buy a splitter you know, to listen to stuff and charge it at the same time, which you always had to charge that phone. Yeah. So if you wanted to use the headphones, you had to get the splitter, because otherwise you just burn up the battery. And then the splitter would go bad, you know, even if it's an HTC branded one, it's, you mm-hmm. know, it just was a piece of crap. So very bad experience. I don't like this. You know, I think that the video and charging ports should be separate. You think HTC would have learned? Yeah, you'd think they would have, but somebody, you know, crapped their pants and forgot their name. Uh, point number two for this phone on the verdict. The screen is great. Absolutely great. Uh, this is one of the best screens I've ever seen on a phone. Uh, you know, the, you know, we're not going to talk about the iPhone, what it, its strengths and weaknesses. This is a higher resolution display though, and yeah. it's not pentile. Yeah. So very excellent screen. Number three, Beats Audio headphones are included. This is a great marketing strategy. Whatever you happen to think about the Beats, you know, headphones oh, and yeah. Monster and stuff. A lot of people like them, you know, it's red. It's like what the, fashion. It's like what the iPhone used to be. Lady Gaga. You know, you'd see the white headphones and stuff. Now you see the red and stuff, you know, they're beats and they're yeah. expensive. So yeah. it's kind of a, you know, it's a status thing. It comes status with the phone. Symbol. You pay $200 for the phone with your contract and you get these nice expensive headphones. That are people love usually that. $150 alone. Yes. Uh, point number four is the convergence of design by HTC. This is great. Now, this is the ultimate convergence between the HTC Incredible, which is uh-huh. uh, the back and uh, the button design on the front right here. Yeah. And uh, the G2, which came out on T-Mobile first, or the Thunderbolt, which had a lot of that strong uh, similar design that the G2 had. So this top speaker, uh, the design of the bezel and everything uh, it takes from that. And instead of being metal, it's plastic, though, more huh. like the... Droid Incredible, and the back has been modified a little bit so that you have that Droid Incredible uh, stuff on the top, Ledge. but the bottom is kind of It's topographic. Chinned. It's kind of like a very calm down G1 yeah. little chin action down here. Um, but this is beautiful. I like where HTC is going. Uh, the more I look at it, you know, if you if you see a phone like this, you think, you know, they could just shrink up the bezel on the top a little bit. On the bottom, the bezel will disappear when they go to ice cream sandwich and start doing on-screen yeah. buttons. Uh, this this phone is very close to having no bezel. Uh, this is the kind of way I'd like to go. You know, a little bit thicker phone, that's fine with me, uh, but no bezel. The Droid Razor kind of went the other way. Mm-hmm. Thicker bezel, thinner phone. I, so. really, I really like the phone. The thing that I don't like about it is, like, I'm not a fan of this textured back. Yeah, that's a little weird. It is. This is why they call it the Beats. Yeah, because you can do a remix. Mm. Beats! <laughs> you can include it with your beatboxing uh, <laughs> activities. Uh, so my final point is the geek in me says don't buy this phone. Yeah? When you can get the most up-to-date version of Android directly from Google with the Galaxy Nexus. Yes. But the geek in me is confused because the Galaxy Nexus is a Samsung phone. Mm-hmm. And I'm not the biggest fan of Samsung. I like HTC really? a lot more. Oh, they're a lot more friendly to hacking and mm-hmm. Samsung phones. You know, some of the encryption stuff that they did to the uh, storage yeah. on the device and stuff. Oh, and battery is just, Yeah, it, battery not being able to be replaced. This bag comes off.